coming soon in this episode. Wow, look how beautiful the sky is. I can't believe I'm actually outside right now. Just kidding, I'm still in my mountain. Hello! My name is Phil Kwan, and welcome to episode 19 of my Hardcore Survival Minecraft series. Today, I will be back working on my mega base. Last episode, if you missed it, I started on this massive project. But I way underestimated the scale of the project and have since decided to temporarily pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> if you look closely, some of you with keen eyesight may notice the bright pink lines of wool that have suddenly appeared in my base. These were put into place to split up this gigantic mountain into three distinct sections. Today, I'll be working on this section of my base. The reason I need to build this section first is basically just that monstrosity. My base desperately needs a proper storage area and somewhere to discreetly store my millions of blocks, and this section of my base was always planned to include my storage system. But before I can get started on the actual storage part of the build, I must first fill in the walls and roof. Why, you ask? Well, my plan for this portion of my base is to transform it into a tropical oasis. I'm talking beaches. I'm talking ocean full of giant sea creatures and coral. I'm talking a volcano. The works. And the most important part of all of that is the backdrop. I can't just have it be all this dirt and moss you see here. I need to turn it into a proper bright blue sky. And this, I assure you, is no easy task. I'm going to need to collect tens of thousands of resources in order to cover this entire section with light blue concrete. The four main components I'm going to need are as follows. Gravel, sand, bone meal, and lapis. Luckily for me, I already have all the gravel I could possibly need within this monstrosity of a storage system I mentioned earlier. Which means, without even having to do any work, I already have one out of the four materials I need for this project. Unfortunately, the other three are going to take more work. But fortunately, I have a dozen shulker boxes and a desert waiting to be decimated. Let's do it. And with that done, I now have all the sand and all the gravel I could possibly need. Which leaves us with just two more things to gather. For the bone meal, all I have to do is take these two shulker boxes, venture through my gorgeous nether hub, and fly blindly into the darkness until I see my wither skeleton farm. And now all I gotta do is stand here and whack away until I fill my inventory with bone skull times. Please enjoy this incredibly short time lapse. I'm gonna whack, whack. Whack the scalies, gonna whack a whack a whack a whack a whack the scalies. I I got one shulker box of bones. I figured that's probably enough because really one shulker box of bones is one and a half stacks of bone or chests of bone meal. So I'm thinking, well, I only need as much white dye as I get blue dye, and I'm not really gonna get more than a double chest and a half of lapis today, am I? <laughs> so that should be lots. Which means, that is three out of our four resources collected. All that's left is lapis lazuli for that sweet, sweet blue dye. And I have been stalling for this one. I really don't enjoy mining much, says the guy who mined out this entire mountain. But, it's different in a little tiny little hole where you're not making progress. You know what I mean? Anyways, I've got to go down in that mining hole. Not going to bother to time lapse this one. I'll just cut to when I got this chest. Hopefully at least this much full of lapis. Ideally more. Let's see what I can get. Well, that did not take as long as I expected, actually. I've got half a chest, or I guess half a double chest of lapis, and a bit of extra that I just stored up in my base. I think that should be enough. If I'm gonna run out of anything for this wall and roof, it's gonna be the lapis, but 
I'm gonna hope that it's enough for now. Which means I'm actually pretty much ready to get started. I think... Oh, actually, one more thing. And with some scaffolding and dirt, it is time to get started. I just gotta craft up... Oh, this is sandstone. There's the sand. I just gotta craft up all of this material, make it into light blue concrete, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got around about three double chests of the concrete and tons of extra resources to spare. So, I'm not too concerned on the resources front. Although it did just occur to me after crafting all that, that this is concrete powder, and I'm gonna need concrete. So I have got a very long time ahead of me to convert all of this to concrete. Yay. Wow, look how beautiful the sky is. I can't believe I'm actually outside right now. Just kidding, I'm still in my mountain. Gotcha, didn't I? No, probably not. It doesn't look that much like a sky, obviously. You can see the blocks, you can see the shape. But the point is, it looks more like a sky than that does. So, that was the goal. It is now mostly complete. I gotta figure out this section in particular, which I'll be doing in just a moment after I'm done talking. But for the most part, the sky is all filled in. Now, I know the torches don't look particularly fantastic. The problem is there needs to be light somehow, and it's not so easy to hide light sources in the ceiling or walls. So, kinda have to work with what we got. And I can't find any invisible torch texture pack because that apparently is not a thing so yeah you're kind of stuck with what you get but I don't think it looks too bad and it took probably around about 12 hours in total I got over six hours of just time-lapse footage of me placing the blocks and that's not including all the time I spent gathering resources crafting the resources and the most annoying part of all converting the concrete into concrete you know what I mean concrete powder to concrete that sucked. That was boring and time consuming. Dumb mechanic. Anyways, I've had enough of it. And the other two parts of my base are actually not going to be made out of concrete. So <laughs> I shouldn't have to deal with that anymore at such a large scale, at least. Either way, the sky is complete. What I do want to do, however, is fix up this little section here. You can see I did not build the sky all the way down from here to there. And that's because, well, it would be a little weird to have a sky that comes out like this in that sort of way, as it looks weird right there, but oh well. I'm going to be making it into islands, because this this section, although I'm not going to be completing it in today's episode, um, it's tropical, right? But I don't want it to just be an ocean, because, well, that's kind of lame. So it's going to have, you know, islands dotted about here and there, some other details, but this is kind of forced my hand into making this <laughs> an island of its own. I don't really know what else to do with it. It's already shaping out into be a rough, nice island shape, so that's what I gotta do. I'm gonna throw that together super quick. Not gonna bother to time lapse it. Here is the finished result. Bam! Now I have islands. Obviously these will be stretching into the water when that comes, and these are subject to a lot of change. These will not look anything like this by the end of this project, but I just needed to get a basic land in shape so I knew kind of what I was going for and where I need to be digging out the space for the water. But that is a problem for next episode where I will be 
hopefully completing this entire thing. That's the plan. It is a lot of work. Mostly building the ocean in itself will probably take significantly longer than anything else I've done this episode. So, <laughs> might have to pace myself, but we'll see. Either way, that's the end of this episode. If you did enjoy, please remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below to let me know your thoughts. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe. Do it.